Weekend sports betting tips, March Madness, Sweet 16 coming up round to 32. Last few games tonight. And Mr. Sean Higgs and Anthony from Powdered Sports. How you guys doing today? Good. Not too I'm bad. Right. But... That, was, that was me on the echo. I was tweeting out live. <laughs> I, I saw you were coming up live and I went to retweet it and we just went live as winning. So sorry for the echo to start. People probably like, what the heck is happening here? Coming up live here. Um Favorites in the tournament, Sean. 32 and 11 ATS coming into Saturday. <laughs> so safe to say, I am like three and three yesterday, three and three the day before, I think two and five the day before that, and five and two on a Tuesday and Wednesday of play ins. Um, yeah, well, you know, I'm gonna be 500 when you have favorites cashing at that. That's that's just the way it's gonna be. I do take yep. favorites sometimes, but you know. Um, other like the other day, I had the, the only favorite that lost. I had Tennessee. You know, I had Kansas. Yep. I had uh, well, stay in today. I had uh, you know, well, Wake Forest is, is the oh, and the other and the other thing that was a, you know they're getting crushed. But I'm surprised, I'm really surprised. surprised. But it's been a good tournament, just like you said. I mean, Thursday, I think I broke even, but won fourteen dollars. Friday, I won. It was a great day on Friday, over seven hundred dollar winner. Uh, yesterday would started off five and one, ended the day five and five, went in just under two hundred bucks, and today we're off to a great start. Uh, Marquette minus three and a half parlayed with Purdue money line, five hundred twenty dollar nice. winner. Nice, there you go. I, f- I was four and one yesterday because Mr. Square. So, you can't, you, I mean, <laughs> if you follow <laughs> if you follow me on midday money, I post the pick. So I had Cleveland State winner, Purdue minus ten and a half winner over. 149 and a half. I think Purdue got there as well, right? Get over 149 when they score 100 points. Pretty sure that's a winner. I'm really and, surprised about the Duke game. So and I had Fairfield. And I had the Fairfield over. I went back to the Stags overrun, and it paid off uh, with a uh, what do we got? A 157 and it went over 153 and a half. So I'll take a 4-0. And they're picked. That's on Twitter every single day. I post that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. So. Yeah, Duke game. I'm a little. I'll jump. I'll say this real fast, and because I, I really had no feel on this. I, I thought Duke would be Duke and just kind of run up on this team, maybe an overplay. I ended up not playing it just because. What I you know yeah, every game. I, last, I, I, get, I get you want to play every game. Wisconsin. I, I understand you want to play every game. I get that, but sometimes yeah. that's. I was like, eh. same with the Yale game. I was sort of like, well, I could go either way on dog and and dogs and under faves and the over. It was the same with the Duke. No, thank you. I'll pass. I've been giving my guy every game, uh, my guys every pretty much every game. I mean, there's not a lot of games, so I'm giving them every one. Um, I got James Madison plus seven and a half in this game. And the reason I took it was because I didn't think James Madison going into the Wisconsin game, as we discussed on Friday, was really that great. But when they dominated Wisconsin the entire game, I was like, wow, okay, maybe the James Madison is pretty damn good. And I wasn't really impressed on Duke because I did live bet Duke at the end of the game and to me, they got lucky to cover that 11 and a half, to be honest with you. So I expected a tight game. Maybe maybe James Maddox could do a late backdoor cover at the end of the second half, but I didn't expect a, a blowout like this. I, I See, I find that uh, like when I'm against a team, like you were like adamant, like, oh, man, James Madison, no way. You were so yeah. anti-James Madison. I was. So, yeah, to I was come in, so to come in the next day on, like, I didn't like Oregon. I was against Oregon. That's it. I'm not taking I Oregon. I didn't like and that was the total opposite. I hated you Oregon, know. but going into that game, I was like, you know what? I can see Oregon really uh, upset Crane here. I, you know, like the – I had Kansas. But now I'm going to look at maybe taking a Zonga the next game. I think they're getting okay. five as the opener. Just because here's Purdue versus a, a better team. Yeah. And is it going to come back and their past haunt them? Like that's my thing. Like, oh, do you think – I didn't – the first two games they were going to win. And I said they that blew like, out blew out Mountain West there's again. Two, there's two teams you don't want to face right now. That's one North Carolina. 
because everybody's shooting at a high rate. And two is Gonzaga. They're not just beating teams. They are scoring. I put every Duke way. up there too, man, right now. They're playing at a very high level. Duke. <sighs> okay, they're playing James Madison. I mean, I'm not – you got – I'm not. Yeah, we said Friday. Who James Madison beat? I mean, their best win was Wisconsin. That just yeah. happened, so. and that's why the I like Wisconsin. Bias. But I stayed away. But I, I don't think Duke is a team. I mean, I think if North Carolina plays Duke, say tomorrow, North Carolina is going to go in there and whoop some ass. And they did twice already. But yep. give me Gonzaga. I said this pre-tournament. I said this all the time. I told both of you guys, Purdue will lose in the Sweet Sixteen. Yeah. And who do they play in the Sweet Sixteen? Gonzaga. Yep. Gonzaga is the uh, is the line five and a half. Am I seeing this right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's a little. I, that's a, I, I don't see do the first time. I, I thought for sure it'd be like more seven eight ish for them. Really? I, I think, thought it'd be like two or three. Utah State would have been about a ten spot. That was right. This one you thought it'd be two or three. I really did. Oh no, I thought this would be a little higher. I mean, if you look at Purdue, they have dominated this year. We can make fun of them all they want. Like ah, they're chokers, dude. The guys have four losses. You know, I mean, or three. Excuse me. Sorry, they have three losses. At and it's in overtime. Two of them are in overtime, and, and they have three overtimes all game. Two of them are versus Northwestern. So yeah. sometimes the team plays the team well. I mean, they lost to North. Look at them. They beat Gonzaga by ten on a neutral. They beat Tennessee by four on a neutral. Marquette on a neutral by three. All, all in back to back to back. And then they beat Alabama and Arizona on neutrals. By double digits. I mean, but I think yeah. when they played Gonzaga, Gonzaga wasn't the it was same early in the year. Team. Yeah, it was We're early just, in the year. Listen, you still you beat those five teams. Those aren't bad teams. No, they're no. not. They got no matter how they're there. playing, the talent is still there. I know Gonzaga's playing a little different now down the stretch, but let's uh, the the Purdue hate. And everybody has it, right? I mean, our guy, you know, Ninja comes into the chats like he goes, "Oh, Purdue, Purdue." I'm Purdue. one of them. Hi, I'm one of them. You're, you're laying 13. Okay, are you overrated? You're not covering 13. No, well, they don't I care about covering. Cover. They don't I care about take, covering 13. They don't I care could about not, covering 13. I could not take 11 and a half today. I figured you saw State yeah, kept it within 10. Yep. If I were to bet it, which I did not bet anything on that game, nope. I would have took the plus 11 and a half. See, I won't have. I, you know, the way because, and I was high on when it's coming in. Yeah. I had them in the, the playing games. I had. I mean, I had Nevada blow lead, um, San Diego State, or yeah, no, I had UAB plus the points, but I had New Mexico in that that late game. I used State. I'm like, they, they just look terrible. Colorado State or Col- yeah, Colorado State. I forget Colorado, Colorado State. Whoever scored 11 points versus Texas, they did not look good. So I was like, you know, I'm not looking to take double digits with a Mountain West team. I'm still a little, yeah, you know, they needed some wins. I don't think you'll get a a lot of hate for losing to Purdue. Okay, they're 28 and three. 28 and 3, folks. And your Gonzaga team is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 2, 12 and 2, 13 to 14 to 15 to 16 and 2, with both losses coming to St. Mary's. Right? And then yeah. they have a one point loss against Clara. I mean, they, they've, you know, like you said, playing extremely well, but five. So, it, it looks the line's a little, four and a half now. Now the line's but down. Now to people four. are coming down. To, see, so, at this point, if people see keep pounding at Zaga, I might come in on Purdue. Yeah, yeah. So this is my question, to you. Which I was looking at this before the line even what's, came out. Uh, what's the up? over yeah, one fifty four and a half? Or oh, Gonzaga I kind of plus like the four over on this one. Gonzaga what? plus four. No, yeah, Gonzaga plus four and a half. Yeah, I just don't trust Purdue. Uh, Georgia Wake Forest ends uh, Georgia seven two six six. Wake Forest a great home team. They just yeah, very good home. They do get home terrible, court. Yeah. Terrible. They did yeah. not and come prepared. And and they had been playing well. Yeah. The ACC. Yep. That's a, that's yep. one of those things. Like, hey, we're playing, we're playing Big good upset. ball here. Why not? You know, I'll, I'll take shots on teams that are playing good or uh, on a conference that's playing well. I mean, we saw Georgia get picked off by or not Georgia, but the SEC Auburn. Florida, I mean, Kentucky, all these SEC teams going down, going down, going down. Why am I thinking that that the, the middle or lower level teams are going to show up on a road? The 22-16 Quinnipiac over Evansville right now. A couple Did earlier you? scores. Cleveland State over Northern Colorado. Only 100 points scored in that game. That's weird. 
with uh, well, both those teams are high scorers. So that surprises me. Nah, but you're on a neutral. Yeah, you know, you're playing in Florida, far from home. Yep. I I I had the Vikings there. Uh, Montana needed overtime to beat Presbyterian. They didn't cover the seven. I nope. couldn't believe it. Yeah, I thought the seven seven and a half was a solid number. Of uh, Presbyterian, I was like, really? That's weird. I mean, again, like Sean says, you're on the road, far from some home. of these NIT games, like these teams, I feel like they're not motivated. I, well, you that, know? that's a that's a CBI game, CBI or CBI. That's I just CBI. feel like they're not motivated. I uh, see. I disagree. The CBI, you, ha- I, I think these teams have to pay to go to these things, or is that the CIT? They got to pay to get it. One, you know, these conferences, you're going to this things. You, you want to play. You're, you're not not going if you're not motivated. Yeah. You're, you want to play. I, I disagree with you there. These guys go to that small tournament. You just want to keep playing ball. They're not playing like it. I'll say that. I yeah, but maybe. Saying, but but like, yeah, you know, you're playing, but then uh, you come out cold, and then it's you know they were down ten. It was twenty four fourteen at the half. They yeah. scored 35 points in the second half. I yeah. mean, no bad I'll first say one half. Thing. That Marquette team, I mean, they could, I mean, they have legit scores on that team, I will say. Oh, yeah. In Colorado, man, oh, man, they just ran into the wrong, they just played the wrong team. Yeah. Because Colorado had every chance to win that game at the last, I mean, they were down 11, they were down 8, they came right back. And, I mean, that yeah, Colorado uh, team. One game tomorrow, I think, Purdue-Fort Wayne. Yeah. Tar- Tarleton State. Any thoughts on that game? I have no. I haven't. I got to look at that. That's I mean, I would probably lean Fort Wayne. But, you know, the whack there is like – Who knows? Grand Canyon wins today. Why wouldn't you think about taking a whack? Yep. <laughs> I kind of like Grand Canyon plus the points today. I'll tell you, man. I do. It's a time. Less- Dean Foster, man, that guy is awesome. I, found, I got the over. It's I less the than the Charleston line, and Charleston, I thought, played in a better conference, you know, and the total's a little yeah. lower. Like, are you thinking that the Alabama's de- – not defense, but uh, – It's that- only five and a half. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's many points for Bama. But the total is five and a half points. Why is the total five and a half points less? What do you mean the total? I mean, because Char- it was like against Char- uh, against Char- uh, Charleston, oh, it was Charleston. like 173. Charleston yeah, was eight. About this. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I looked at. The, I want to kind Grand of compare. Grand a better team. Have they played defense, Charleston? I think Grand Canyon is a better team. So Grand Canyon, I was looking. They score in the high 70s and the 80s. Yeah. This is going to be a. Uh, someone's going to hit 90s. Maybe both of them. But yeah. I like the. I think the over. It's up to 172. And it's a half got up to once. It was, dude. This morning I did a show. It was 160 and a half. I'm in 160? I mean, 160. 160 and a half. 168. 160. 168. Oh, 168. Oh. Wow, I've at been this point, what, at what point do you push back and take the under? Um, if they keep pushing this up, um, I'll take out. I jump in on the under the last second because again, why did it start that much lower? Like I still like the one seventy two and a half. I still like it. And, you know, think about this: eighty five eighty. You're not sniffing this at eighty five eighty. Yeah, and that, and that's a high scoring game. Yeah, I mean seventy seven seventy ones were high scoring games back in the day. Now we're talking eighty five eighty doesn't get you an over. Yeah. I mean, I get a three point shooting. But it's crazy. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Greg. So Grand Canyon, uh, uh, Anthony likes the over. Sean's yeah. going to wait and maybe live bet this game. Yeah, maybe I'll look at maybe the under now. And I, I do like Grand Canyon. I do. Like there's, Grand a, Canyon. there's a good instance. So before the uh, James Madison game, I threw I bet the under with James Madison. And I bet under 147 and a half. The live number is 148 and a half. Would you say that the uh, on the under? Or would you say to take the over going for the full game? Hmm. I'm wondering know. what uh, uh, James Madison's team total under was. That would have been great. Oh, I'm sure they're probably in the 60s. I thought about some team total unders. Like Yale, Yale team total under t- intrigues me. I kind of like the today, under for the second half for the full game, 148 and a half. I got the 147. I think the under is a solid play because if it's such a big blowout, those last few minutes, Duke's just going to dribble it out. Yeah. I mean, they're going to bring in their, their second, your B squad. What's the, the second couple. half line for the under in that game? I don't know what the second half line is. I just know it's 148 and a half for the game. Minus 20 and a half live bet. I'm looking at Player prop Keem. He's got Alabama. He's, he's also he's watching, you. watching our stream and cleaning the carpets, watching the tournament. <laughs> That is the life player prop king. You got that right. Uh, Grand Can- final thoughts: Grand Canyon, Alabama, over. 
and Bama, but I like the over more. See, I like, I like Grand Canyon. I like Grand Canyon, too. I just – as Again, long as I don't care who wins. I didn't bet anything in this game. I Neither didn't bet did anything I. in this game. NIT action got VCU at South Florida. The YMCA, Anthony's YMCA kids, USF, down to minus three and a half now. So VCU take a little It's not down. down. It's up. This was it's two up. and a half. Okay. I, got a two, I, got a, I had a two and a half on this game. I got it at two and a half. So yeah, South so Florida minus two and a half. You can still get two and a half alternate line, minus 120 or minus yeah. 125, whichever your book is. So it's not like okay. minus three and a half is minus 105. Okay. So if you can still get two and a half, you just got to pay a little juice. And honestly, I mean, to me, minus 125, minus 120 is a hell of a lot better number than minus one, three and a half. Yeah. That's what I did with the Marquette. Yeah. Unfortunately, Marquette was minus 130, minus three and a half, but I just took we've, the far left. We said this market. before. We talked about like, oh, people, you're buying points. And I don't buy points. I just, I'm most yeah. time I'm on a better number because I just bet early and – but, like, someone's going to say, you're only 120. That's crazy. But that same person will be like, oh, minus 3,500 when it should be 6,000 and minus 240 when it should be minus 330 in baseball is perfectly normal. Where that's kind of crap I totally disagree with. I can't do that. That's yep. – yeah, I don't mind, I don't too, mind buying we, in a hook. What do we like to do? We like to kill the juice with a yep. huge money line favorite. Purdue <laughs> yep. wasn't going to lose today. And we yep. probably no, like, got yeah. a plus 104. Kill some, kill some juice. Kill the juice. Trust Any, me, I don't want to pay. I don't want to do minus one thirty. I don't buy points, but I just didn't like that minus four and a half. And something told me three and a half was the number. And thank God my gut actually was right this time. I'm seeing Duke twenty one and a half at the half here. How about yeah. the total for the uh, second half? Yeah, or with the to- um, it's showing one forty eight and a half. Well, yeah. I mean that's a full game total there. Sure. Yeah. So South Florida at home 13-3 and one against the spread. Is it a home? They're at home, right? Yeah, Nothing one of the play. best. Yeah, one of the yeah. best home cover teams in in NCAA. So yeah, NIT NIT plays home. NIT so they're home playing tonight. home at home. Give me South Florida minus three and a half. Uh, South Florida, right. in my opinion, they got robbed. They should have been in the tournament. Yeah, but maybe the NIT is a better fit for them because then they could keep playing. It's a nice little stepping stone. You go in the NIT, even. You, you win yep. this and you get to the semis or, you know, in Indianapolis. That's a nice little run for a team out of the blue that wasn't supposed to be They that are good. a young team. They yeah, got for, one uh, guy. He's a senior, I think he is. Honeywell, whatever the hell his name is. But this is they perfect. got three legit scorers on this team, and they're big guys. So they're, they're – the, the, the guy from Florida Atlantic, I think our guy, um, whether it was a team money or, or, or King D mentioned that the coach referee was going to get the Michigan job. Yeah, he got it. And did I saw that today? I saw yeah. he got the job, and, and they're like, "Who got the job?" South Florida coach, Florida, Florida Atlantic coach. Oh, Florida Atlantic coach is. I'm just talking about it because we're talking about the AAC, right. and I'm like, that is dumb for that guy to go there. Like now, you're not playing in Memphis, who has Penny, who still messes up games, yeah. or uh, or a good South Florida program on a run. Yeah. And again, we're talking South Florida eyes or Cincinnati. We're not talking or not Cincinnati's yeah. not even in the AAC anymore. What am I talking about? They you struggled know? this year a little bit, though. Uh, uh, Florida Atlantic. Yes, but. Uh, the spreads what were, were the too expectations. High. The spreads the were spreads humongous, were and all high. of a sudden, here comes all the hype of a Final Four team. When you went to Final Four, you should win a championship this year. Yeah. It's the same team. How can you not just go not go back to the, the, the their the, spreads the, were like the Chiefs of two years ago? They were all year, humongous yeah. spreads. Yeah. So when they win by seven, you're like, oh, these guys aren't good. Or if they lose, you go, oh my god, they're terrible. They lost three games last year. You stay yeah. at Florida Atlantic. That they're building, they're building statues for you. Yeah. Right. You, you go. You know. You you had a loss. You had a tough overtime loss. Hey, whatever. You know, maybe he's like, forget it. The cupboard's bare. I can't recruit. Uh, if that's the case, now you're in Michigan versus Michigan State, Ohio State, per- Purdue. Hello, I don't know. That guy just turns out pretty good teams. We won't even talk about Washington and Washington States and your Oregon's and all these other USC's and UCLA's and and all these other teams coming into play. Northwestern's a feisty. You want to go there? You want to go there for three years? You're getting. You're out of there in four four years. You're canned. You think Jawan Howard is bad at eight twenty five? This guy's going to win five games. You're going to win five games there. Yeah. Stay yeah. at VCU. Uh, the guys left. It's all right. You've you've got enough credit down there from going to the Final Four and making the tournament. That a badger would be all right. You did accept a, a, a seventeen and fourteen year. Old. Where did VCU's coach go last year? He went to Marquette, didn't he? No, not no, Marquette. Shaka, uh, Shaka. Shaka was at Texas, Colorado, right? <laughs> Wasn't no. it? Excuse me. 
I thought, I thought he hit I the just saw him on TV. I thought I just saw him on TV. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, listen, give me South Florida here at home. They're home. Take care of business at home, guys. Yep. yep. The, the spread should not come into play. I agree. Yep. Northwestern versus Connecticut. Connecticut. I think, this is a I think just UConn is just going to run the table all the way th- to the Raw Final Four. Northwestern, I mean, so this is the thing. I know Northwestern likes to play it slow, and they were able to keep it at their pace with FAU and control the pace, especially in the second half. I don't see them yeah, doing that with Connecticut. I think Connecticut's just way too superior for Take Northwestern. Over. It's over. I got over 136. Take the yeah. over. UConn oh. will be in the 80s regardless. They'll be in the 80s. Yes. It's the Northwestern it's one, they can catch up. Yep. This is like, you know, forget Alabama at 171, where it's 85 80 doesn't get you there. This game, 75 65, you're a winner. You know? Yep. I mean, yep. Northwestern's going to score in the 60s. Yeah. Probably get their 63 to 67. Yep. And UConn's going to win by double digits. Yep. So, over. Yeah, UConn and the over. It's pretty simple on this one. I mean, I'd be shocked if anything other th- uh, happens. That game kicks off 745 Eastern time. Uh, South Florida, 730 Eastern time. Let's see. Texas A&M versus Houston. That's, uh, that's the next game. I, I took the points with a and I would. I, I love the points. A and M too. I mean, the way they play versus it's Nebraska. It's eight and a half. It was ten. It was ten yesterday. Actually, I got it at half ten half and a half this morning on yeah. DraftKings. Yeah, you got a good number, yeah. Plus ten and a half. Everybody's on the same thing. Taking Texas A and M. Houston's got some injuries, man. They're not. They're not at full strength. They're still uh, a good team, but ten and a half. Still I just a great team. A and M's feisty. A and M's a feisty bunch. A and M has enough defense to bang with Houston. Keep yeah. it low. They got a lot of big guys, and Keep I think it close. this will be a really physical game right here. Yeah, I, I, I also up. like the under. I got the under up in the midday the midday money show day. One thirty. Yep. It was one thirty four and a half. Still the same. I still like the under there. I, I got A and M plus ten and a half in the under. One thirty four and a half on my card. Don't be shocked if this is like an Iowa State sixty fifty five kind of game. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Iowa at Utah. Utah minus four. And a half. I would take a little bit of money. This is five and a half this morning. Oh, Over God. under six one sixty five and a half. Wow. I initially lean under because Utah I is more under. of a team. Yeah, I like the over. I, I, was yeah, the over I, I went and looked back, and I'm like, over. Utah is scoring in the 80s. I, Iowa plays no defense. Yeah. They could score on Utah. Uh, I mean, Utah does have defense, though, but they can also score. I like I like Utah minus four and a half. I, know, I don't I know like this the, game at all. This is uh, a no play for me. Uh, this is Utah this for is me. I know my Hawkeye is on the road. They suck. Uh, four and a half isn't a lot of number to cover. No, this tough. is this is the same as like the Ohio State game I gave yep. out the other night. Like here we go. It's just going to be Utah is going to come in and score eighty something plus. I was going to score their points. I mean, one sixty five yep. tells you they're looking for somebody to score ninety here. Yep. So, yep. I'm going to agree. Over Utah on the over. I think it's going to be Utah on the one over. One of those two high yeah, scoring I mean, affairs. Utah can put up a hundred points. They've done yeah. that season. I uh, mean. And and also in this kind of game, you're, you're thinking like, oh, this game could be 88-80 and being under. Well, maybe, but this game could be eighty two, eighty two, and go to overtime, and then you're in you're in business. Yeah. You know? Yep. So if I know both teams are getting into eighty, Eight, I, I, both teams get to eighty. Eighty four, eighty two gets you there. I think I, I think uh, if, if you find, uh, this might be a game like OT eighty four, eighty two. Actually, you lose by half a point, but it's close enough. We're playing horseshoes now. But. <laughs> Uh, I, how about a four eighty two gets you over by a half point? One sixty. Oh, I say one, oh that's one sixty six. All right. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was one. Uh, um, I told you I just woke up. I woke up before forty one. Five forty one. Yep. Eighty four eighty two gets you there. Low how about, how about a how about a uh, yes to overtime in this game? I could see that. I would do a yes I could overtime. See that too, man. Be a little crazy. Plus like, one thousand. I think like eighty two eighty two. It's going overtime. Eighty. Oh, I gotta 80, say, you know, I'm just. Uh, I think. Three or four laps away from hitting a six to one NASCAR winner. Damn, nice. That's too shabby. NASCAR. NASCAR. All right. So there's value. Some of the tracks you can get there's you can eliminate more drivers than others. All right, Richard Petty. Got one last game tonight. That Jeff is Bush. Yale, San Diego State. I lead San Diego State. They're very talented, but I, I don't like it because Yale's got four players that score in double digits. I See, this is a tough one. It's a very tough one. I because I thought UAB was going to beat San Diego State, and they had the lead late, 
and they just literally just blew it. San Diego State was able to just score at will. San Diego State was here last year. They got a lot of their returning players. Ladie is a, is a legit stud. The um, last game of the night, I, I like to take myself a dog, just like Oregon last night, even though I got screwed. <laughs> it's like hitting uh, – it's like bottom of the ninth, one out man on first, and a two-run homer to tie the game. And that's how Oregon lost. Well, I'll tell you, Yale uh, wins this game. They're definitely – I'm going to go with Yale plus five Cinder- and a half. Cinderella slipper on. I didn't bet uh, it, but I, I'm taking Yale here. Uh, yeah, I have. I, I could say let's go Yale, let's go under, let's go Aztecs, let's go over. I, I, I like I the under in this game. game. I have yep. nothing to say. I, I, I don't it's have tough. It. It, it's 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 really really tough. Two hundred people watching live. Hit that like button. Helps us out. Uh, Where do you really see that? Like, what is your line on this game? When you when you look at these game, don't even look at the spread because the first thing I do is five and a half line? seems big. If I, I would. My line would have been four and a half, and I was one number off when I first saw this game. Yeah, I was thinking four. Yeah, three and a half, four for me. Uh, I like the under, though. I'm looking at Yale team total under 61 and a half a little bit. I got my eyeball on that. But with four scorers and double digits average. Yeah, I would go with over 130 and a half just for the fact that Yale can score, and they really don't play really good defense. So San Diego State, I do see them scoring a little bit more in the 60s, higher 60s Uh, in this game. Of these two teams? San Diego yeah. State does play defense, man. No, I said Yale. No, I know. Yeah, I know San Diego State plays. They play good defense, man. Very efficient do. on the defensive side I know. of the ball. Uh, side, so we're, we're kind of leaning Yale in this one, right, dog? I'm leaning Yale. I, I mean, I could go. Plus I, five and a half. If it was four and a half, I'd be on San Diego State. But at five and a half. Like, San Diego State's there, veterans yeah. who were here last year and they're uh, uh, superior athletes to Ivy League. I, 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 that's why it's, I'm hesitant to play this game. I watched uh, the Yale versus Auburn, and they literally just stopped Auburn. It wasn't Auburn. Like, there's a lot of the games where the team just plain loses it. Like the James Madison. This one is just plain James Madison just completely lost this game. It's not Duke was that much better. It's just James Madison couldn't get the ball in the hoop. As in the Auburn, they yeah. just look like a mess. When that player got ejected in the really first half, they could, not, they could not rebound. They were up 10 really with seven surprised. minutes left. And Yale just never gave up. They played hard defense, hard offense. And, yeah. I mean, they got the crowd behind them. I do think the crowd will continue to be behind them because it's a Cinderella team. So I'm going to go I mean, I'm gonna go Yale here. Let's take a little look at some uh, Sweet 16 matchups while we're here before we get to some free plays. Illinois in the, uh, in the East bracket, Boston, we got Illinois. Number three seed taking on Iowa State, the number two seed. Give me Illinois. Uh, I don't have a line on this game. It's two and a half, Illinois. Thursday. Illinois minus two and a half? Two and a half. Two and, give me, and a half. Give me Iowa State. Total total it's really one, tough because Illinois doesn't play defense. Half. Give me the under. Definitely the under. I'm taking oh, the under. Got it. This Illinois game. under? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Illinois, could play, yeah. Illinois could play a little defense. I, I, I think – I think Iowa's going to play dictate. slow. Illinois doesn't mind Iowa's, playing slow. Iowa's going to play their game. So if I, even if Illinois scores, Iowa won't be scoring. Yeah, I'm even not against a bad. It, it, one four. It's one forty. It's it's low. One forty six and a half. You see, you yeah, see what the average scores for any that's high for Iowa game is one forty five. Yeah, but you're going against team that puts up eighty five. Yeah. Yeah. Not clashing, against Iowa State. Styles, they're not, putting, they they're not putting eighty five points on Iowa State. Clashing that's, styles. That's a tough game. That is a tough game. I'm, I'm rooting for Illinois on this one, but I can easily see Iowa State win this game. Yep. Right now, I'm just leaning Illinois. There's nothing else. I'm just going to lean it. And uh, over in the – I'm sorry. South. Iowa State's minus is minus two and a half. Yeah, I'm Iowa State's okay. minus two and a half. I, oh, okay. I'll, I, I'll, I'll take Iowa State plus the points. Yeah. But uh, plus two and a half, give me Illinois in this one. I hate to say it, but – uh, over in the in the South Region, NC State's taking on Marquette. Uh, watch uh, NC State, man, they're just rolling. I don't Marquette, see anyone on Marquette. What is that guy half. in the uh, in the middle? Minus. Burns. I don't see who's going to guard him. Who on Marquette fact, is going to guard him? Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, look, Marquette's not a good rebounding team. I know my team. Uh, NC State is a good that, that monster in the middle. That, that dude's dude, huge. He's, he's double I mean, digit rebounds. So the reason I, he's so good is because he's thick. 
Yeah. I don't want to say he's fat he's because fat. I mean the guy's athletic. I love him though, man. But he's the good. guy's the post, athletic. Good post player. To be that size, yeah. you gotta give the guy a lot of Marquette's credit. Marquette's gotta defend the rim better. Uh, six and a half, one fifty and a half. I'll take uh, NC State plus the points. But I, I, I like might lean a little, you know. I mean, here's a good Cinderella playing game, right? Yep. All the, or not playing game, but they were the eleven seed uh, against yep. Texas Tech, who I had Texas Tech. I was like, no way. You beat NC and Duke. No way. No way. You're gonna have. You got anything left? You're you, yep. you're spent. They play five games in seven days. Now it's like seven and nine days. Or this and they got a couple days off. No, it was seven Six. and twelve days. Seven and twelve days. Okay. Yeah. Seven. So they had the, yeah. They had the five and five, and then here comes yeah. the tournament on Thursday. So now they you roll, got a couple days off. They had the they had the uh, the, uh, the ACC tournament. Yeah. Yep. Where they played at what five games? Four games? In five days. Yeah, that was all back to back to back to backs. So. Right. And then a uh, uh, play in game at the NCAA tournament. Right? They had no, a play in. No, no they, they weren't playing. They weren't playing. Okay, play okay. No, no, no. And then they played a couple here. Uh, they Tough went, game versus Oakland overtime. Yep. Tech, they, they took care of Texas Tech. They could not guard that three. Oakland just kept coming they had back. O- to those overtime threes. versus Oakland. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're taking on Marquette. So interesting. They need, game, but they need this time off. I'll tell you that. They're beat. Purdue, Gonzaga. I'm on Gonzaga. I'm sorry. I got to stick to my guns. I've said it from the very beginning before the tournament. Purdue loses in that Sweet 16, regardless of who they play. And Gonzaga is one of the two teams, in my opinion, you don't want to face right now. So I'm sticking with my guns, plus five and a half. I like. I mean, look, I don't trust. I don't trust. I mean, the only them. reason Kansas was even in that game in the first half was because Kansas could not miss a basket, as well as Gonzaga. But Gonzaga was scoring in every part of the of the court. It didn't matter who guarded them, where they shot the ball, who drove the ball. They were going in. I mean, I don't see anybody on Purdue that can stop that. I mean, Gonzaga has five legit players that can score at will. Who does Purdue have? They got Edie, which, I mean, he's a dominant force. He's a seven-footer. But yeah. – Outside, if Purdue doesn't hit those outside threes, you're relying on a seven footer, and it's going to be a Wisconsin versus uh, Purdue game all over again. It's going to be a 68 67 type game. Yep, but I do expect more high scoring. I take the over in this game. I love that's actually my favorite. Yeah, over, I'd be over first, but again, I or something like that. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, and then uh, Creighton and Tennessee in the Midwest region. Tennessee two f- and one forty four. I I That's, want to take Creighton. I mean, I got Creighton in my final sloppy. four. Creighton looked a little bit better yesterday. Tennessee, the last couple. I mean, they beat St. Peter's. They destroyed them. But when Tennessee was actually, um, they let Texas get back into that one. Yeah, ten, ch- no, Texas had no reason to get back in that game. Tennessee really struggled at three. I think, what, they started the game one for 14 in threes? And that was the difference. They couldn't hit their threes. So if they can hit their threes versus Creighton, I mean, it could be a watch-out moment, but it's tough. It is really, really yeah, tough. Tennessee is tough. Uh, it is. got two good teams, two teams you kind of yeah. want to probably play on. Very you know, similar. Like you, yeah. you kind of like both. If they were against other teams, you might be thinking, oh, I mean – Crane played a dogfight. I know they end up winning by double digits, which is an anomaly on its own. Uh, but even just how they won the game, you're like, what the heck happened here? But double OT, I, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing on that game. I think what as they they should have lost that game. Down four with them under a minute left. They should have 24 lost that game. seconds left. They were down four? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're just putting an insult to injury now. Now you're. You got this knife in me, and you're you're turning it. Okay, you're turning it. Plus one sixty five. You're killing me, man. Don't tell me that. Rough one. Well, at least I hit my NASCAR play six to one. That's good. there you go. Yeah, just escaped Texas. All right. Uh, let's say we give away some free plays. And let you guys get out of here. Hold on, we didn't cover High Point Cleveland State tomorrow at noon. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I'm only kidding. That, that's a joke. It is. They're not playing in noon, but I don't have a line on High Point Cleveland State. No. High Point is the one seed in this tournament. Uh, just so everybody knows, they are the one seed. They had a bye, and you just saw Cleveland State here in the CBI with that overtime or two point win. You know, high points. Uh, high point. Easy. I like high points. They got I, fish, very know, fish on offense. But listen, Cleveland State is a dog, man. They're high, good. 
High Point is remember they're coming off that that Longwood game. Yep. Um, and and the game before that they barely did cover because I I made a joke like yeah, oh like you know they, they so have maybe the coach get on them a little bit but like just because we go whatever they go twenty eight and three I mean they had a they had a lot of wins as well too they you know twenty five and eight and they lost to Longwood twice and they almost lost to, I think um, who's the team I, I want to say Howard it's not Howard Radford before that they came back and won by thirteen. The coach of High t- High Point is uh what Tubbs' kid, right? Yeah, t- he took over, I think. So they've had a lot of time to stew in their own poop and think about Longwood losing twice to them in the last three games and having yeah. a bad. I mean, they were down, I think, first half against Radford as well, or they started out down eighteen to yeah. two. So I mean, it's yeah. I was like, oh, this is a loser. I'm like, oh, we're three minutes in, you know, relax. Yep. Yeah. But that could be an interesting, depending on what that line is. Again, neutral court in Florida. Arkansas State and Montana, it's a 4-5 matchup. So do as you will. I mean, I, I, again, I haven't looked at I'm just State looking at the matchup right now. Wa- after watching Montana today. <laughs> Fairfield, you know, Fairfield might be one you want to lay the points with against Chicago State. Chicago State, double-digit dog, beat San Diego. Yeah, so they beat the San Diego. A good team, too. They yeah. are the 15 seed. So they're, you know, <laughs> so Fairfield's a 7 and they have the 15. They're going to be laying uh, probably – I'm gonna say like seven ish. I I'm get I don't even you know, I'm I'm trying to think what they'll use for these kind of games. Um and it, when I, I think was, of a line, I, was, I just think of you know, it's do I think of neutrals and stuff, but when we come into a game like this, I, I'm thinking seven. I'm thinking seven. So I, I would lay the seven with Fairfield. I think so I think they 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 win here. Let's Chicago State. This isn't last year Chicago State, right? We'd make fun of Chicago State last year. They have like five wins yeah. or whatever they had. Well, they had twelve wins this year, and they kind of covered some games as well. So yeah, they, they're slowly improving. Eleven and twenty last year, seven and twenty, uh, seven and twenty-four the year before that, and then zero and nine in the COVID season. Now that's the true YMCA team. Four and th- <laughs> four and twenty-five, four and twenty-five before that. Okay. I like uh, Purdue Fort Wayne plus five and a half. Three and twenty eight. They're building a little bit, but again, I'll lay to seven. Fairfield. I'm not going to harp on Chicago State. You're, you're make make the make the game at seven, or is it out already? I'm saying seven for myself. I'm guessing that's. Yeah, like I would that. say five and a half. Fairfield minus five and a half. But you, you I'm saying that. seven for them. Uh, who's the other one? Fairfield, uh, Chicago State, which is yep. that is no Fairfield. That's what I said. Is seven. Five. Yeah. Arkansas, Arkansas, yeah. State, Arkansas Montana. State, Montana is a four or five. It's probably going to be a close to a. I, I would think a pick them. Yeah. Right. So Montana minus two and a half. Montana minus one and a half. Uh, you know, I'm saying no because th- that game well, was a, a pick them anyway yeah. for Montana today, right? Against Cleveland or uh, no, Cleveland Mon- State. Montana, Montana was played. minus seven and a half. Oh, really? Presbyterian. Presbyterian. Yeah, but now they're playing. But okay, but that's fine. You think Montana's going to be favored over a lower seed? I'm calling it a pick them or Arkansas State one. I'll take Arkansas well, State. They coming in hot. They're good. Yep. High and point I'm, Cleveland State. What do you make on that one? Trash. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say six. That's why six and a half. My high point minus six and a half. Yeah, and I, just I, I will be all over Cleveland State plus six. Just because I, I I like Cleveland State, I think that conference is a little tougher. Yeah. Than high points. Yep. So. Charleston State plays some good defense, but I I still like Purdue Fort Wayne plus five and a half. Five and a half points, a lot of points. And How about opening the- night on Thursday? And forget about this CBI crap. It's at Tarleton's though, right? Not a neutral. Oh, excuse me. Yes, it is at Tarleton. So, um, it's at Tarleton. Yeah. That's about right, five and a half, six for that matchup. Yeah. So. Yep. All right, some free plays. And then uh, let the guys get out and get some dinner. All right, here we go. And- Blowout. I would not take Northwestern plus, especially after watching Purdue take down Utah State. Uh, Sean likes Quentin Post in the Boston College. Yes. Plus I, mentioned, I, mentioned, I mentioned this on midday. I said I had BC already. It was a five. And now it's all the way down to two and a half. So I like he. Mikey yep. like he. Like it. Yep. Mike, he likes it. I am on South Florida minus three and a half versus VCU tonight. Uh, we don't have a dog of the day, do we? Take my BC. <clears throat> All right, we'll go uh, BC. Take my Boston College. 
They're the only dog rolling tonight. Unless you want to take Grand Canyon. Yale. Yale plus the points? Yale plus five and a half. Now who's Yale playing again? I forgot. San Diego, San Diego State. State. Why not take it Cinderella? That's my dog of the day. Well, it was Clemson. I don't know what the scores of that game, but that game started already. Yale uh, plus five and a half. Clemson's up three. All right. Not too shabby. What's Quinnipiac doing? I'm they on. had a nice lead over over uh, um, Quinny's, Evansville. Quinny's 30, tied at the half. 30 to 30 at the half. That's a neutral site too, right? Yes. Yeah, Quinnipiac, man, not living up to their reputation. All right, fellas. We will see you guys next time. Catch Sean at winning picks. Winning free, winning free picks, picks uh, midday money and late night money. Are you late, late night, night money? There'll be a late night money tonight coming up in uh, three take, hours. Eleven. He took his nap. He's nap. ready to go. Nap I am. I need a, I need yeah. a nap. And, Get ready uh, for a book for Mister uh, Mister Numbers. We're I gonna have. Oh yeah, man, I, I'm ahead of Mister Numbers. I kind of attacked him a little bit today on Twitter when he's like, <laughs> "Oh, these lines." Iowa State, what Illinois. What uh, I would like, Illinois I like Iowa plus State. the points. Iowa State minus the points. I'm not undecided yet. CBI, CIT, NIT, and NCA all being covered in the late. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to go against Iowa State, man. They they really put the hammer on some teams. I'm taking a defensive squad. Yep. So. No comment. I don't know yet. All right, fellas. Thanks for being here. Let's uh, wrap it up. We'll see you guys later. Thank yep. you. Easy. All right. I'm the team cap, he's the preview, and I'm the main attraction. Unstoppable, unconquerable, on top of the world, accomplishing the impossible. Unstoppable, unconquerable, on top of the world, accomplishing the impossible. Invincible hustle, mighty desire to conspire, to transpire, to